Hello friends, Gujarat Secondary and Higher Secondary Education Board has reduced syllabus of each class by about 30% for academic year 2020-21 due to COVID-19 situation. In this situation, whatever the syllabus reduced in class 9 for subject science that we are going to discuss in this video. Hello friends, myself Sunil Kumar Jadav and welcome back to my channel. See this video up till end to understand that how much syllabus is reduced for class 9 subject science. I will show you the screen. Sit with your textbook so that you can tick mark that what is the syllabus decrease in this standard 9 for subject science. I am sharing you the screen here. Let us see. Reduce syllabus for academic year 2020-21 for class 9 science. Let us begin with chapter number one. Actually here I have taken serial number that is serial number of the chapter, chapter name and remove topics. I will discuss which are the topics included in the syllabus and what are the topics reduced or removed from the syllabus is mentioned over here. So let us discuss about it. You can open your textbook so we can tick mark that what is the syllabus. It is there in the examination and whatever the syllabus not there in the examination actually teacher has to teach the entire syllabus but out of that only this much syllabus which is given will be asked in the examination and the remote topic from the textbook will not ask in the examination it is just for the examination purpose otherwise you have to learn the entire content so that it would be helpful for you in the future also. So let us begin with chapter number one. Chapter number one, matter in our surrounding. You can open your textbook. Let us begin with page number one. You can see that topic 1.1, physical nature of matter is included in the syllabus. That means this topic will be included all the subtopic under it will also include it for the examination purpose. I would also like to share that in each chapter, the introduction part at the beginning of the chapter will also be included in the examination. So students start preparing for that also. Let us begin. 1.1 physical nature of the matter is included in the examination. It means matter is made up of particles. That part is also included in the examination. 1.2 characteristics of particles of matter is included in the syllabus. It means all the subtopic under it 1.2.1 particles of matter have space between them 1.2.2 that is particles of matter are continu continuously moving as well as 1.2.3 particles of matter attract each other. All these topics are under 1.2. As it is subtopic of 1.2, 1.2.1, 1.2.2, .1, and 1.2.3, all will be included. Because 1.2 topic, that is characteristic of particle of matter, is included in the syllabus. So I hope you understand. Third topic, 1.3, that is states of matter on page number four, is also included for the examination. Let us move ahead. Come on page number six. On that page number six, you can see 1.4. Can matter change its state? This is remote topic from the syllabus for this particular academic year. Can matter change its state is removed from the examination. It means all the subtopics under this, that is 1.4. It has the subtopic like 1.4.1. 1.4.2 will be removed from that and the last topic that is evaporation is included in the syllabus means from this chapter only one topic is, is excluded that is can matter change its state this is the topic which is excluded from the syllabus for this academic year only for the examination purpose it is removed but for clear your concept this all topics you have to prepare. Teacher has to teach all the topics, but out of that, this topic will not ask in the examination. Let us see chapter number two. 
is matter around us pure this is chapter number 2 in that just begin with page number 14 what is a mixture that is included topic all the sub topic under it is also included second topic what is solution you can see it is not included in the examination means it is excluded from the syllabus for this examination what is solution it means all the sub topic under this 2.2 what is solution is removed it means 2.2.1 concentration of solution 2.2.2 that is what is suspension this is removed from the examination now let us move ahead what is colloidal solution is also removed as this particular topic that is 2.2 what is solution contain concentration of solution what is suspension and what is colloidal solution all these topics are removed next topic page number 19 2.3 separating the components of mixture you can see this is also excluded from the syllabus for this particular academic year for the examination purpose separating the component of mixture it means all the sub topic 2.3.1 2.3.2 2.3.3 2.3.4 2.3.5 2.3.6 2 2 all these topics are excluded 2.3.7 2.3.8 all these are excluded from the examination next topic that is on page number 24 you can see physical and chemical changes is included in the examination similar way page number 25 what are the types of pure substances that is element and compound this topic is included that is 2.5 what are the types of pure substances is completely included means from this chapter mainly two topics are excluded from the examination what is solution separating the components of the mixture let us come to chapter number 3 chapter number 3 is atoms and molecules let's come on page number 31 the first topic is itself excluded from the examination that is laws of chemical combination you can see laws of chemical combination is excluded from the syllabus for this particular year it means both the laws that is law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportion is excluded as well as dalton's atomic theory is also is also in, excluded from the syllabus because this is that these are the topics which are under title laws of chemical combination come on page number 33 what is an atom this is a topic it is a big topic under it 3.2.1 3.2.2 all will be there so what is an atom is a big topic so all the sub topics under it is included in the syllabus for examination purpose that is 1.3.2.1 3.2.2 and 3.2.3 is included in the examination page number 35 point that is 3.3 what is a molecule this is also the included topic means it is not excluded all the sub topic under it molecules of elements molecules of compound and what is an ion is included in the examination page number 37 3.4 writing chemical formula this is also included in the examination how to write the chemical formula for that this table on page number 37 is very much important remember this table for even 10th standard also it would be useful for you to prepare any chemical equation how to prepare or how to write the chemical formula for all the different ion that i have made the video and you can see that i will give you the link in the description so you can understand that how you can write the chemical formula next topic that is 3.5 on page number 39 is excluded from the examination we have seen that the topic 3.3 is included 
actually 3.4 is given that is writing chemical formula is also included and now this topic 3.5 molecular mass and mole concept is excluded from the examination actually what is mole and what is mole concept is very much important topic but here for the examination purpose it has been excluded but it is my humble request to all the student for your betterment learn this topic from your teacher that is mole concept is very much important for you in the future also so both this topic that is laws of chemical combination first topic that is 3.1 and 3.5 that is atomic mass and molecule sorry atomic mass and mole concept both these topics are excluded from the examination for this specific year let us go for next chapter that is chapter number 4 structure of the atom topic 4.1 on page number 46 charge particles in matter is included in the syllabus page number 47 4.2 the structure of an atom is also included next page number 49.4.3 4.3 how are electrons distributed in different orbits or different shells this is the topic which is excluded from the examination you can see how are electrons distributed in different orbits or shell it is excluded from the syllabus for this specific year next topic that is let us go ahead page number 50 4.4 what is valency this topic valency is included for the examination page number 52 4.5 atomic number and mass number is also included in the examination but on the same page 52.4.6 isotopes which include isotopes and isobars this topic is excluded from the examination that is isotope means in the chapter number 4 these two topics how are electrons distributed in different orbits and isotopes both these topics are excluded from the examination next chapter number 5 fundamental unit of life this is very important chapter for the beginners of the biology so this entire chapter is there for the examination purpose and nothing is reduced from the syllabus from chapter number 5 similar way as the fundamental unit of life is important similar way tissue is also a such important chapter for the biology and biology is mostly introduced with the fundamental unit of life that is cell and tissue cell and tissues are very much important so nothing is excluded from chapter number 5 and chapter number 6 so no reduced portion from chapter number 5 as well as chapter number 6 that you can see so entire chapter you have to prepare for the examination purpose let us go for next chapter that is chapter number 7 just open your page for chapter number 7 what is the name of the chapter diversity in living organisms now it is on page number 80 first topic 7.1 what is the basis of classification this topic is itself excluded from the examination what is the basis of classification is excluded all the sub topic under it is also excluded from the syllabus page number 82 7.2 classification and evolution is also excluded from the examination this are this is the second topic classification and evolution is also excluded from this examination evolution will be useful evolution will be useful for you for standard 10 so if possible learn this topic from your teacher next page number 83 the hierarchy of classification that is groups the hierarchy of classification that is group is also excluded means point number 7.1 7.2 7.3 all these topics are excluded from the examination that is page number 80 82 
and 83 all these are excluded from the examination now page number 85 7.4 planchia is also excluded from the syllabus you can see planchia is also excluded from the syllabus it is the classification or we can say the detail about the plant classification which is also excluded then what is included in this chapter you might be thinking then go ahead in this chapter next topic that is page number 89 7.5 animal that is this topic related to classification of animals is included in the syllabus means from this chapter only animalia that is point which is related to classification of animals is included in the examination so page number 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 as well as 96 that is the last topic 7.6 nomenclature how to give the nomenclature how to give the name to the plant sorry animal group is nomenclature this topic is included or means in this only two topics are included that is 7.5 animalia and this next topic 96 page that is 7.6 nomenclature is included in the examination except that all the topics are excluded means which are the topics which are excluded from chapter number seven diversity in living organism what is the basis of classification classification and evolution the hierarchy of the classification groups and plantia these are the topics which are excluded from the syllabus for this specific year let us go to next chapter next part is related to physics that is motion first five four chapters are related to chemistry we saw then five six seven is related to biology and now it begins with the physics that is motion in this motion page number 98 describing motion 8.1 is included in the syllabus all the subtopics are also included page number 100 8.2 measuring the rate of motion is also included for the examination let us go ahead that is 102 page number 8.3 rate of change of velocity is also included topic for the examination now what is excluded page number 104 8.4 this topic graphical representation of motion is excluded from the syllabus 8.4 graphical representation of motion page number 104 is excluded from the examination page number 107 8.5 equations of motion by graphical method this is also excluded means the topics related to graphical representation equation of the motion related to graph all this related to graph is excluded from the syllabus so from chapter number eight these two topics are excluded last topic 110 8.6 uniform circular motion is included in the syllabus means only two topics 8.4 and 8.5 that is 8.4 graphical representation of motion and 8.5 equations of motion by graphical method both these are excluded and all other topics are included for the examination. This is what I have translated from the Gujarati circular. But my humble request is there to all of you that you can refer the original circular, which is in Gujarati for getting better understanding of it. As the English medium student do not understand all the topics of Gujarati. So that's why I have translated it. But that is the main reference point. So you have to refer and you should go on website that is www.gsb.org on which you will get the circular related to reduce syllabus on that it is in gujarati you can verify along with this english version let us go for the next chapter chapter number nine force and laws of motion 115 page number that is first topic that is balanced and unbalanced force 9.1 is included in the examination. Page number 116, 9.2, first law of motion, that is Newton's first law. 
is also included next topic that is 9.3 page number 118 inertia and mass is also included in the syllabus on the same page 118 9.4 second law of motion that is newton's second law of motion is also included in the syllabus but the next thing is that that is on page number 122 you can go that is point number 9.5 third law of motion newton's third law of motion is excluded from the examination you can see third law of motion is excluded as well as the next topic page number 123 123 9.6 conservation of momentum is also excluded from the syllabus so these two topics are excluded from chapter number 9 force and laws of motion law that is third law of motion and conservation of momentum both these are excluded and all the topic from 9.1 to 9.4 are included in the syllabus all the sums are also included along with those topics let us go ahead that is chapter number 10 gravitation it's a big chapter out of that page number 131 10.1 gravitation is included formula to derive that is universal law of gravitation to derive the formula most important question from this chapter page 134 10.2 free fall is excluded from the sorry 10.2 free fall is included not excluded remember this by mistake i said page number 134 10.2 free fall is included in the syllabus it means 10.1 gravitation and 10.2 free fall is also included in the examination page number 137 10.3 mass is also included 104 weight it is also included in the examination page number 38 10.5 thrust and pressure this topic is excluded from the examination remember it thrust and pressure is excluded 141 10.6 archimedes principle is also included uh, sorry excluded from the examination these are the excluded topic i'm talking about now thrust and pressure archimedes principle and relative density this relative density is there on page number 142 that is 10.7 so these three topics that is 10.5 thrust and pressure 10.6 archimedes principle and 10 10.7 relative density is excluded all all the sub topic under it is also excluded from the syllabus thrust and pressure archimedes principle relative density are excluded from the syllabus next that is 11 chapter work and energy this full chapter is cancelled from the syllabus so this is a big relief for the student this full chapter that is work and energy is for this examination purpose is remote but certain quantities of work and energy are important for you for standard 10 also so if possible understand it from your teacher at least get the understanding for your knowledge but in examination no question will be asked from chapter number 11 because the full chapter is cancelled from the syllabus for this specific year work and energy that is chapter number 11 let us go for chapter number 12 in this chapter number 12 it is sound page number 160 12.1 production of sound is included 161 12.2 propagation of sound is also included in the syllabus all the sub topic 12.2.1 12.2.2 12.2.3 12 all this are included in the syllabus page 167 12.3 reflection of sound is also included in the syllabus it includes echo reverberation uses of multiple reflection of sound next topic 169 that is 12.4 range of hearing is also included in the syllabus but page number 170 application of ultrasound is excluded from the syllabus it includes sonar which is important topic but is it is excluded from the examination 
page 172 structure of human ear is the topic that is also excluded from the syllabus so this two topics application of ultrasound and structure of human ear are excluded from the syllabus that is from chapter 12 sound let us go for next chapter that is chapter number 13 why do we fall ill in this chapter it is quite easy chapter to understand and to write also page 176 first topic 13.1 health and its failure is included in the syllabus health and its failure is included 178 disease and its causes is also included all the sub topic under it is also included 180 infectious disease but in this infectious disease certain topics this topic is a big one 13.3 in this topic few topics of few sub topic of this topic 13.3 infectious diseases are included in the syllabus and few topics are excluded which topics are included that first of all we'll discuss 13.3.1 infectious agents is included in the syllabus that is on page number 180 sub topic 13.3.1 of topic 13.3 infectious disease 13.3.1 infectious agent is included 182 13.3.2 means of spread is also included but on page number 183 13.3.3 this topic is excluded organ specific and tissue specific manifestations this topic 183 13.3.3 organ specific and tissue specific manifestations is excluded from the syllabus 184 13.3.4 principles of treatment is treatment principles of treatments is also excluded and 185 13.3.5 principles of prevention is also excluded from the syllabus principle of prevention of disease but that this word disease is not mentioned principles of prevention that is 13.3.5 so this three topics are excluded from the syllabus that is from 13.3 infectious disease 13.3.3 organ specific and tissue specific manifestations 13.3.4 principles of treatments and 13.3.5 principles of preventions are excluded from the examination now next chapter that is chapter number 14 in that 14.1 on page number 189 the breath of air sorry the breath of life air is included in the syllabus 14.1 the breath of life air is included it includes all the sub topic 14.1.1 14.1.2 14.1.3 all these are included in the examination 193 page number 14.2 water a wonder liquid is also included in the examination but on page number 195 14.3 mineral riches in the soil mineral riches in the soil is excluded from the syllabus topic 14.3 page number 195 is excluded 196 14.4 biochemi uh, sorry biogeochemical cycles 14.4 biogeochemical cycles is included in the syllabus and this question is most 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 important question for you so all this sub topics you have to prepare very well because it is definitely going to ask in 3 or 4 mark question for your final exam also that is 4.4 14.4.1 the water cycle 14.4.2 the nitrogen cycle 14.4.3 the carbon cycle and 14.4.3 the greenhouse effect that is by carbon dioxide 14.4.4 the oxygen cycle out of this water cycle nitrogen cycle carbon cycle and oxygen cycle are most important topics so this is important for you all 200 page 
that is 14.5 ozone layer is excluded from the syllabus so these two topics mineral breaches in the soil ozone layer these two topics are excluded from the examination now last but not least chapter number 15 improvement in food resources in this 15.1 improvement in crop yields is included it means crop variety improvement crop production management nutrient management manure fertilizers irrigation crop pink patterns all these are included crop protection management all these topics storage of grain all these topics are included as it is under this sub topic 15.1 improvement in the crop yield but the next topic that is on page number 209 15.2 animal husbandry is removed from the syllabus it means all animal husbandry that is cattle farming poultry farming egg and broiler production fish production marine fisheries inland fisheries bee keeping all this are excluded means only one topic is is uh, this is a big topic which is excluded from this chapter number 15 improvement in the food resources that is animal husbandry but the first topic is included that is improvement in the crop yields animal husbandry is removed introduction part given in the beginning of each chapter except chapter number 11 is included in the syllabus as i have already informed the introduction part will be taken in the examination so you have to prepare all the introduction part and all this topic we have discussed in this you can see what are the topics which are excluded rather than that all the topics which i have discussed are included you have you will tick mark in your textbook and prepare for the examination accordingly but as per my suggestion you will learn the entire syllabus for your betterment for the future if you want to make your career in science you have to prepare all the topics and you have to learn it from your teacher so this is all about the syllabus in which topics are included and which topics are excluded from the syllabus for academic year 2020-21 due to covid-19 situation this i have shown this is what i have translated from the original circular which is in gujarati so if you have any doubt any query you can just refer that because it is a original one this is i have just translated for your betterment this is all about from my side if you have any query any question regarding this then you can discuss with me you can keep your comments so i can try to solve your queries even if you have any doubts in science or mathematics that also you can ask me so i'll try to solve your doubts through making video so this is all about it you can share with your friends with your colleagues with your relatives because this english medium translation will not be found from any sources and it would be very much easy now that you can understand what topics are included and which topics are excluded from the examination through this video but share this video maximum so most of the student all those students who are learning in english medium will get benefit of it share it and like if you like this video then click on the like button thank you so much